guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me today. This video has been requested by a lot of you and I was hesitating to do it because honestly, I don't think it's that interesting, but people seem to want it. So I'm gonna give it to you. Uh, this is my little doodle notebook. So at the end of every video, if you're not, if you're new to my channel, at the end of every video, I have something called doodle of the day. So each day I take one of these little pieces of paper and I doodle a picture, just a really simple drawing. It could be anything. And then I put it in this little um, happy, uh, happy planner micro notes notebook. And they, everybody said, when it's filled up, can you please do a flip through? So that's what I'm doing. I did add some more pages to this, but I'm gonna stop at the part where I know you guys have not see, have, have already seen the doodles, so they don't see any new doodle, doodles. Okay, if that made sense. All right, so let's do this. Again, I don't know like why this is interesting, but I, and I also don't know what to say about a lot of these doodles, but I'm just gonna try. So coffee pot, obviously. So when I first started doing this, I was also coloring parts of them in in colored pencil. Let me know in the comments if you want me to go back to doing that or you want me to just keep it black and white. So this is a cute little coffee pot that I doodled sometime last year, so I thought I'd start with that. Hot chocolate, light bulb. I really like that light bulb a lot because there's a heart in the middle. I think it's super cute. And light bulbs are fun to doodle in your planner for, you know, like ideas and all that kind of stuff. Mountains, uh, not crazy about this one, but I did doodle mountains before in my planner and I loved it. So, you know, that's okay. Lovebirds, I doodled these back last Valentine's Day, I think. And so I like kind of copied them out of my planner and I think they're really, really cute. Watermelon, obviously. Paper airplane. See, I don't know what to say about this stuff. Um, really love the paper airplane though. Like that's one of my better ones. Paper airplanes are really hard to draw. And it took me a while to perfect the paper airplane doodle. It's not easy because of these angles. And if you do it wrong, it looks like unnatural. So um, you might wanna just practice. So don't feel bad if you try to draw an airplane and it sucks, just keep practicing. Cute little fox. I I wasn't happy about coloring him in orange, but I did, so I lived with it. And we have a daffodil in like a little bud vase. Happy mail. I think that's super easy to draw and it's like something cute to add to your planner just if you're going to the post office or if you got happy mail that day or anything like that's so easy to draw these so i would recommend doing that i think it's so cute this little coffee cup mug thing i obviously had some problems here there's some white out there but um, yeah, little champagne glasses. These were actually harder than you would think because of the tilt of the champagne. I had to get it just right. Um, I probably doodled this a few times before I actually had one that, that works in my, um, in this planner. So yeah, poinsettia. I guess this was around Christmas and New Year's. So I was doodling some of that stuff. Martini is another really easy thing to draw. And it's so cute, so you can always put one of those in your planner if you're going out for drinks or something. Avocado, I love avocados, and that was pretty easy to draw. It's kind of like drawing like a pear, and then just like with a circle in the middle. It's not hard at all. Pencils can be tricky to draw because you have to like get it just right, like the thickness and everything. So this one is a little wonky, it's not perfect, but um, salt and pepper shakers. I really like those. I think they're they're cute. They actually look like exactly like my salt and pepper shakers at home and I just like drew them from that. This is one of my favorites because whisks are there's just something about them that are really cute to doodle. I had fun doodling that. Peach looks like a butt you guys. Let's face it. That was a bad peach. <laughs> it looks really bad. 
Okay, sleep masks are fun. If you're like writing about self-care in your planner or something, those are really fun to draw. I think I copied that from like a Happy Planner sticker or something, but really easy to draw and fun and they're cute. So check those out. Sun, I mean, there's so many different ways you can draw a sun, but I liked this one with the little triangles. I thought that was cute. TV, not a fan of the TV that I drew. There's all sorts of different kinds of TVs you can draw, but I mean, this one is fine. Mascara, uh, I don't know why you would need to draw mascara in your planner, but it would be fun to do so. And that was a little bit tricky to draw just because of this thing here, but it wasn't too bad. Donuts are always good to draw in your planner because I mean, there's National Donut Day. Everybody loves donuts and it's really easy to draw, so you can't really mess that up. I mean, I guess you can, but as long as you can draw a halfway decent circle, you're fine. Okay, so this toaster is, <laughs> like the toaster itself is fine, but the, the bread, look, it's just too long coming up. Like, obviously, if you're gonna draw a toaster, keep the bread down here. I don't know what I was thinking. It looks really, really weird, um, but you know, oh well. Uh, book, self-explanatory, bobby pins. This is like one of my favorite drawings in this book because they're just so cute and they're really pretty easy to draw. So try to draw those, they're fun. Ice cream, not the best ice cream cone I've ever seen, but it's a fun summer doodle. Same with the popsicle. Perfume, I don't know if I like this, but I drew it from, like, I have a bottle of perfume that's like long this way, so that's why I wanted to do a long one, but I don't know. Egg looks weird. I don't particularly like that egg at all. Um, it looks strange, although I think Allie might have done that one. Yeah, I think Allie drew that one. Sorry, Allie. <laughs> she doesn't watch these anyway. <laughs> she never watches my videos. All right, rain. Uh, you can always doodle weather in your planner. Super easy to do. You can doodle clouds. You can't mess up clouds. All clouds are different. Not a problem. And then just draw some raindrops. Anybody can do that. Camera. Um, this camera didn't turn out the way I planned. It's like weird because there's all this space right in the middle. I don't like it, but it's fine. I mean, it's kind of stylized looking. It's a little abstract camera. I do like this purse though, I think it's cute. And I just bought a purse, like a crossbody that's exactly, looks exactly like that. So cute, cute, cute. This hanger's a little messed up. So the problem I have when I do these doodles is I'm, um, I'm doing it freehand and I'm doing it like underneath the, the, um, the camera. So it's like, I would love to be able to pencil them first and get it just right and then doodle them for you because whenever I doodle in my planner I always pencil it in first unless it's a simple doodle and so like when I'm doing this it's like okay I have to try to do it without um, any pencil first so if I get one little line wrong it looks weird so this looks weird to me because it should be like it should go like this you know what I mean? It should not be so big and wide. A diamond turned out pretty good. That's another pretty easy thing to draw as long as you look at a picture of it and you can see the different lines. It's not too hard. You just got to go like this. It's not that bad. Um, a pen. There's so many different types of pens you can draw. This I just picked. Like I think I looked on Google and looked pen doodles and I saw one that was similar to this and I thought that was cute so I that's why I did that. Popcorn, not too hard to draw. You know, the popcorn drawing the little popcorn cur um kernels are like that's a little tedious but not too bad. The lamp I really like and it's simple and cute. Carrots anybody can do. Couch, this couch is so messed up. It looks really weird. The perspective is all off. It's very strange, so I apologize for the couch. Okay, the alarm clock I love. I think it's so cute, and I love these little lines, like it's ringing. I really, really like that. This is kind of a lame attempt at a soda or pop or whatever you call it. Not a fan of this one. Cupcake, I mean, 
If I was redoing it, I would make this a little bit smaller so this part stood out, but it's not bad. Microwave was fun to draw. This is like probably my favorite one in this whole book just because it came out like the lines are really, really straight and even and I really like that about it. Um, and it's just cute. Like how fun is it to draw a Chinese takeout container? Like so cute. The Eiffel tur Tower turned out nice too. I don't have a problem with that. And I do like that I use two different thicknesses of pens. Sometimes if you're doodling, it is it makes it look better and more appealing if you take a thicker pen and then draw details in with the thinner pen. So I should probably do that more. I usually don't think of it, but for these little X's, I thought that would make sense. So that's why I did it that way. Sheep is cute. The strawberry is lame. <laughs> baby bottle, I don't know why I drew that. I do not have a baby, but you know, some of you might. So that's something really easy to draw in your planner. Bumblebee would be fun to draw around um, summer and you can do like those little trails and then put it like throughout and then flowers around it, whatever you want. Okay, snowflakes are all so different. There's so many different ways you can draw snowflakes, but this is the way I did it and I do like how it turned out. It looks pretty symmetrical. Umbrellas are really easy to draw. Again, if you're recording weather in your planner, these are the kinds of things you can be drawing. Scissors, this was extraordinarily difficult. Um, I don't know why, but, and I don't love how it turned out, but it's not horrible. It's just, it was really, really hard to do. Owl, the owl. Um, lots of different ways you can draw owls. This is just one of them. This is the worst palm tree I've ever drawn. Literally the worst palm tree I've ever drawn. I did not want to even want to put it in here and I was happy when I could turn the page, but you know, I left it in there. Backpack, uh, these are not easy to draw either. I practiced a bunch drawing this one and I still don't like it, but um, not an easy thing to draw. Anchor, super simple. And everybody knows what that is when you look at it. Suitcase, tons of different ways to draw suitcases as well. Um, this is kind of like an old fashioned looking suitcase with like the straps here and the tag. Suitcases are really fun to draw. There's all sorts of different kinds. So you can always search on Google for suitcase doodle. Um, so if you're traveling and you wanna doodle a suitcase, like there's tons of different ways to draw suitcases. So um, check those out because it, they are fun to draw. Anybody can draw a kite, you guys. I don't care if you're like really challenged in the doodle department, you can still draw a kite. It's not hard. You just do a diamond, do the X and then a squiggle and then you make little triangles like it's just shapes so doodles that are just shapes are super easy this bicycle however was not super easy and basically for usually what I do is like I'll look for doodles and I'll look at a bunch of doodles and then I'll make my own this one I actually pretty much copied because I couldn't do it on my own because like it was just difficult I think I switched it up a little bit but like this was really hard to do. I don't recommend trying to doodle bicycles in your planner. Um, roses, this is something I've been drawing for a while after I watched the tutorial like a year and a half ago or so on how to draw roses. Those are fun to draw, so you can watch tutorials on how to draw those. They're really cute in your planner. Bowl of soup, I don't know. It's a really big bowl of soup, isn't it? A dollar, that's a simple dollar. You can, of course, do it in different ways. You can draw George Washington on there if you want to. I don't care. Um, Polaroid picture. You can put anything inside. These are really cute. You can use these for like lots of different things. You could, um, instead of a picture inside, you could do like one letter and then you could do a bunch of them. Like you could even put them on like a little fake clothesline. You know what I mean? There's so many different things you can do with the Polaroid pictures. You can put real pictures inside a doodle of a Polaroid, like lots of different things you can do. Watering can, because it's almost spring. The dog bowl turned out cute. I like the dog food in there, even though Bumble only eats kibble. This is obviously wet dog food, but I think that turned out cute. That's really easy to draw. 
Cherries, super simple. You draw kind of like almost a heart and then you just connect them. It's so easy. A little camping scene. Uh, the fire turned out weird. I love the tree and the tent though. I think they're really cute. Like a little miniature scene. This I messed up on this calendar page. It was cute when I practiced it on the side, but then I tried to draw it and it's like a little messed up. The UFO, I don't know, it looked like a bonnet. It still looks like a bonnet to me. And then I turned it into a UFO. I don't know if I like that. Bow, pretty lame. Glue, I think it's really cute, except the top got messed up. It should have been straight and it's like off to the side, but it kind of makes it look a little bit like abstract and like I meant to do that. So, <laughs> so don't tell anybody. Postcard, super easy. One side you can do squiggles like it's cursive writing. The other side do the lines, do a little stamp and you're done. Really easy. This teapot, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. When I first started doing doodling it, I think I started with this part and then it looked like a nipple to me and now I can't unsee that. Sorry, sorry, now you can't, can't unsee it either. Ladybug. I mean, kindergartners can draw these. It's really, really easy and they're super cute. So you can like make a little ladybug trail on the bottom of your page. And then we have a cup of tea with the little tea bag coming out. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. And then I think one more. Okay, because I, I did new doodles in the back. So I think you've seen this one already. So I did a stethoscope, which I really like. I like the heart in it. And I kind of did that for all the healthcare workers out there who are having a hard time right now. So I just wanted to like kind of give you a shout out. So that's why I did a stethoscope. So that's it. The rest, oh, you might've seen that. That's the next one. The rest um, are gonna be in future videos, but I wanted to give you like just a little flip through. I know this, this might've been so boring. So sorry if it was. If you're new to my channel, my videos aren't always boring. You know, they can be entertaining once in a while. I can be funny sometimes. <laughs> so stay tuned for Doodle of the Day, which is that one you just saw a sneak peek of, I think, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.